Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck we have the magician and this is mercury energy so um gemini virgo energy so this is a card of someone who's trying to take control of the situation they're trying to manifest their desired outcome and there's a very proactive energy on their part they're making things happen and you know they're taking action to make it happen they're not just wishing for something here um, this is someone who's trying to manifest a beginning. Um, this is someone who is using their resources, their charm, their, um, you know, whatever they have at their disposal. They're really going out of their way to make this happen. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. We have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Ten of Swords, Air Energy. So this could be someone you had an ending with. The Ten of Swords does show a breakup, particularly a very painful breakup. Um, there could have even been a betrayal involved there or just was very hurting with the Ten of Swords. Um, the Two of Wands, we're seeing someone who's reflecting back on that Ten of Swords, that ending, and trying to make plans on how to approach you after this Ten of Swords. Um, this person is thinking about the next steps, the future of the connection. They could be thinking a lot about you in general. Um, you, on the other hand, could be focusing on what's next for you because there's this energy of um, getting back up after this Ten of Swords and, you know, exploring your options. And this doesn't have to be just your romantic options, your options in life, thinking about where to go from here, what's next for you. Um, there is a, a collaborative energy behind this two of wands, which is showing that you're not facing the collaborative energy. You could be wanting to see what else is out there. You could be wanting a new start. Um, you could have learned a major lesson from this painful ending, but someone is still trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest a reunion. They're trying to manifest an opportunity to rebuild the connection they have with you here. Um, there's an energy of, you know, feeling like you guys work well together. You guys make a great team. The three of uh, pentacles is a card of fixing something that's, you know, they could view this connection as appearing to be broken, but not unsalvageable. So this person does want to fix and repair this connection. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so we have the world and this is fixed sign energy taurus leo aquarius scorpio energy so this does look like your energy you've closed the cycle out so you are um, ready for something new you're ready for a new start you are um you know there's this completion energy um you know you've taken back your power here because with the ten of swords this could show someone who's lying down on the ground with swords in their back but we're seeing someone who's standing up someone who is ready to take on the next phase, someone who, you know, is prioritizing their healing, but their resilience. This is how you're being seen. You are being seen as resilient. There could be an energy of travel here, um, exploring, you know, seeing what else is out there with the world and the two of wands. Okay, so let's see. We have the lovers, Gemini energy, the three of, wa the three of cups, water energy, and the knight of wands fire energy okay so this person still wants to come towards you they're coming towards you with a passionate energy a fiery energy and there there's a desire for a reunion with you with the three of cups there but with them still showing up as a knight of wands this is someone who is you know they're still more so in an energy of looking for a fun time um this could be how you are perceiving them when they come in 
Um, but this is also someone who at the same time, they want to actually build the connection. They want to repair the connection. They do want something more practical this time around. They do want to fix what was broken. But, you know, um, they are coming in with the Knight of Wands energy. So you could be viewing this person as just wanting to have fun with you. Um, with the lovers, you have a choice. This is an energy of the ball being in your court. It's up to you if you want to revisit the cycle because it does look like this is something you've already kind of, you know, moved forward from. And this person is coming forward with this Knight of Wands energy and very confident. You know, they want to take control. Um, this person is, you know, coming across as, you know, kind of overestimating themselves, their charm, their attractiveness. Yeah, this, this is someone who's really um, confident that they can win you back here. Yeah. But ultimately, the choice is yours with the lovers and the two of wands. You've learned enough from the situation and the, the, the world card does show that a lesson has been learned here. Yeah. So this could be like a test or um, an opportunity to put what you've learned into practice because you do have some decisions to make in this situation. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Gemini. Okay, so we have be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. So someone is coming in very boldly towards you, very confidently, and they are making a major move here. They're initiating something here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. So we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so I do see this is something you've kind of surrendered. This is something that, um, you know, you've kind of accepted something about the situation. This isn't a situation that you are very focused on or, you know, your hands are not on the wheel here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have Venice Mallow, delicate fleeting beauty. When life is not coming up roses, look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them. So this is someone who's hoping you can still see the beauty within them. It's like this person, um, they are hoping you can see past that 10 of swords. They, they're hoping that, you know, their charm or whatever they're coming with, yeah, it's enough to entice you to revisit a cycle with them. Um, this is someone who wants to be in control because we had that magician and we have this let go of control issue. So they are hoping that you're not in that energy of wanting to be in control here because they, they have an agenda here. This is someone who knows what they want and they're coming in with that energy and hoping that you will be accepting of them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, uh, Gemini. Okay, so we have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling and can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay, so there's advice here around not trying to control the situation. Or the, I'm seeing you're also dealing with a person who's kind of hard to control anyway, because they are showing up as that Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so. Um, that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.